Hello everyone, I am Cecilia Prangon. And I am Trilly. And welcome to the History, history sector. sector. In this sector, we will be talking about the many significant events that happened throughout history. Yes, and this episode we'll be talking about medieval Japan and the rise and fall of the samurai. samurai. There will be four parts to this episode. Tree, would you like to start it off for us? Of course. Let's, Let's go! go! Did you know that the samurai were the warriors of pre-modern Japan? They later made up the ruling military class. They eventually became the highest ranking social caste of the Edo period. The samurai were powerful trained warriors who were to serve and be loyal to the emperor. The samurai literally meant servant and were paid with land and food for their loyalty. Really? Yes. The samurai were a fast growing group of warriors which grew bigger around the 10th century. The samurai had to protect the innocent civilians from the 10th century to the 19th century because of the government gained power. The samurai were extremely brave warriors, so, so brave that they would suicide instead of killing, getting killed by their enemies. Wow, the samurai were really powerful and brave warriors, but how were they able to reach such a high level in the Japanese feudal system and why are they powerful? Over to you, Tash. Can you answer our question? Of course I can answer your question, Faris. That's why I'm here. Let's start it off, shall we? The samurai were rustic warriors who, get, who gained power in the feudal system in 1185. Soon after, the in entire Japanese government was run by these warriors known as the samurai. This happened because the Japanese government had no police force at all. I'll say that again. At all. That is why the samurai were able to get so high in the feudal system. I mean, that's one part of my question answered. But what about the second half? Well, the year 1868, the Meiji, Meiji Restoration marked the beginning of the end of the samurai. The new government at the time had created a whole new conscripted army as the new police force had got rid of the samurai. The emperor at the time, the Meiji Emperor, also did away with these samurai by reducing as much power as he could from them. But even after the samurai's loss of power, they still wielded some of the best weapons in Japan. These weapons were the Iyoda Katana and the Simple Bow and Arrow. Wow, that is some really cool information. But what, when did the government gain so much power? Well, the government gained their power in the 12th century and had increased the social, cultural and economic. The emperor ruled in Japan since the ancient times and by the late 1100s, powerful military leaders were challenging the power of the imperial court. From the 13th century on, Japan was ruled through a dual government structure. How long do you think the samurai ruled the country? Well, the samurai ruled over the country for 700 years. Isn't that un unbelievable? The emperor retained cultural and religious power over the nation, and the military during the period assumed polit political and economic leadership. This system of governance remained in the place until the late 1800s. Wow, if only I had power over one country for over 700 years. Now that Bushido's principles emerged as the code of conduct for Japanese people, they got influenced heavily by the samurai as well as Buddhism and Confucianism. They drew inspiration from Confucianism, which is a relatively conservative system of beliefs that places a great deal of importance and loyalty and duty. Under the Shogun, the Samurai Warriors became more central to the Japanese society. The Samurai Warriors would be able to live more peacefully and would be able to spend more time with their families, although they would still face restrictions of what they are allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. When the Samurai became more central to the Japanese society, if anyone would disrespect these Samurai, they would possibly, possibly be killed. Well, that concludes today's episode. On behalf of Alex, Forest Tree, and myself, this is the History Sector. See ya! See ya!